All right, guys, welcome back to Donna Sean. Sorry I haven't posted it in a while. Uh, I've been really busy the last couple weeks and uh, just haven't had enough energy to post. Uh, working a lot of overtime at Ford and uh, just been really tired, kind of burnt out. You know, I work a crazy weekend shift, like two days, then two nights, and I just, uh, I've just been feeling burnt out like a bad transmission. But uh, it's actually late in the day and I just started filming, but I got a little bit of a challenge for the 2015 F-150 with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. And uh, the challenge is, you know, the boat we got, uh, it's like a 24 foot crown line. And it weighs about six to 7,000 pounds, depending on what's in it. The trailer's kind of set up for towing 6,000 pounds, but we gotta go get it out the marina and we gotta back it down the driveway. And I already know that for backing that truck down the driveway, I should probably be hooking up to the to the F-250 with a 6.2. Uh, way more torque. I think this uh, 6.2 is over 400 foot-pounds of torque. And uh, three and the 2.7, the 2.7 in the F-150 is uh, 375 foot-pounds of torque. It shouldn't be a problem, but uh, the last time that I backed a bolt down that driveway, it was actually a smaller bolt and it it um it was really hard on the truck i don't know it was a it was a 2004 sierra it was the truck i had before the f-250 and the the sierra could barely push this uh bolt the sierra could barely push this bolt down the driveway backwards and it was like running out of power and that engine that was a six liter uh vortec engine 6.0 vortec it was rated for 300 horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque and it was struggling backing in a, a 24-ish, uh, maybe a little bit smaller. Uh, it struggled. <laughs> Needless to say, it struggled backing it in. So uh, I'm, I should be using the F-250 for this project, for this challenge. But I mean, the 150 is going to be the first one out. So I'm just going to use the 150. Like, whatever. It's going to be all right, right? So uh, first, let's go pick up Uncle Shanti because we're going to put it at his house. I can't put it here. I got to put all this stuff in and out. I got the plow over winter, you know. Over winter, it's not going to be a good deal to have that here because, like, uh uh. I got to get the plow out, all the snow plowing equipment, snow blowers, all that stuff is is uh, somewhere around here. And it's just hard to get all that stuff moving around. But anyway, let's go pick up Shanti and uh, so we can go get this boat. All right, uh, picking up Uncle Shanti. And uh, check out this new gate he built. Uh, turned out real nice. So I came around with the F-250 and uh, we pulled out all these posts. That's something I wouldn't do with the F-150. He'll cut half of them out of my Jeep. Okay, so we could have used the F-150, but we used the 250. But yeah, it turned out nice and level and uh, worked out good. I'm impressed, I didn't think you could do it. It don't work with your shift So uh we'll pick this up at the marina. Alright, here at the marina hitching up to the boat. Uh here's a shot of the load. Uh Uncle Shanti know how to hook it up, so he actually been trailering a lot longer than me, so he uh got a lot more experience than I do. All right, so I want to talk about trailering a little bit and uh, how to know if your truck can handle the uh, the load that you need to tow. So this truck, my 2015 F-150, is rated to tow just over 7,000 pounds. And uh, if you can't see your ratings, if you can't see them on your trailer anymore, uh, a real quick way that you can tell is just by looking at your axles and your wheels. So looking at this, you see that you have five lugs. Now, for the most part, generally, when you see five lugs, that means that that's gonna be a 3,500 pound axle. So uh, if you were to see, if you see two five lug axles, then you know that you have a 7,000 pound setup here. So the boat doesn't weigh 7,000 and the trailer doesn't exactly weigh 7,000, but the combined weight it's probably going to be within some kind of a safe margin probably around six thousand pounds but if you were to add fuel or water or something like that they want a little bit of extra uh, margin 
just so that it's not really easy to get overloaded. But I'm sure if you had a full load, full tank of fuel, how many gallons of gas do you hold? 75, 75 gallons. Yeah, so it has enough margin that you can have fuel and some water and you won't be overweight. So the trailer does not carry the boat at the maximum capacity. So you already know, if you see five lugs, then that's two 3,500 pound axles. This is a 7,000 pound setup. So if it's full of fuel, full of water, it's probably still gonna be okay, but it's probably best to make sure you don't have fuel and water in the, in the boat when you tow it. Also too, they're gonna set this up to be about 10%, at least 10% tug weight. So if this is a 7,000 pound boat, they're probably gonna have 700 pounds on your tongue because you need to at least have 10% there. So that's how Crown Line would have probably set it up. Now, if you see six lugs, then that means you have two 5,000 pound axles. So two six lug axles could be, a, is a 10,000 pound setup. So you can pretty much know that if I had two six lug axles, the boat, you know, and, and everything's matching. You got a matching boat with boat trailer with the boat. Then you already know like, okay, this setup, this truck, it's gonna be overloaded because two, six, two 5,000 pound axles, they're not gonna spend the extra money to put heavy duty, heavier duty axles than they need to. So uh, if I had two six lug axles, I would have uh, definitely, this would definitely be a 10,000 pound setup. So they probably have enough so that the weight of the trailer and the weight of the boat will be about 9,000 and within reason. Now, if you had eight lugs, then you would have two 7,500 pound axles. So what's the math on that? 7,500, 14, that's 15,000 pounds? Two 7,500 pound axles would be 15,000 pounds. So, you know, if you had two eight lug axles, you already know, don't be hooking up with this 150 because that ain't enough, you know? Yeah, we're about to do it. Now, also too, you could have two eight lug axles or eight lug axle could also be a 10,000 pound axle so that's something to think about uh eight eight lugs could either be 10,000 or 7,500 depending on how big if it's got like one of those big huge grease caps in the middle that's like a 10,000 pound axle you don't really see that unless you like talking semi truck type stuff so yeah actually you guys this boat is going to be for sale so here's a shot if you guys are interested uh, we can ship for a fee, right? Yeah, yeah we can ship for a, for a fee if you were interested. But uh, anyway, we're going to tow this thing back to the house and we will see you there. All right, just getting the boat to the house and uh, thing pulled just fine. No, pro no trouble at all. Uncle Shanti said it felt like no problem, you know. So F-150 can definitely handle this kind of weight. Uh, 27 is an excellent power plant and uh, yeah so here's a shot of how it looks loaded up the squatting the squatting is not too bad uh, but a weight this size it really should have a weight distributing hitch uh, I think technically the rear axle might be uh, borderline you know as far as loading it should be okay though but um, it'd be nice if it was just maybe just a couple inches higher. But we're going to lower this uh, bimini top because if we don't, we will for sure run right into the house. So what we're going to do is back it up down this driveway. And uh, from there, we're going to put the boat on dollies. And we're going to roll the boat to the other side of the yard so it can still have access to the... Uh, to the garage but like i said this boat's going to be for sale uh was it a 2002 yeah. 2002 crown line 24 foot 24 foot now it's a 24 but it's kind of taller than a than a, a lot of other 24 footers <clears throat> so uh if you want you know you can tell from the from from the from the video that it's a tall boat a little top heavy on the water but not nothing not too bad it's got these trim tabs help keep it level
What do you think? You enjoy this boat uh, over the over the summer? I had a little time. I had to work. You had to work too much. So what do you think? You want to get something bigger? Yes, I'm about to stay on. And go to work. All right. So I gotta back this truck in. I'm gonna uh, go swing around the block and come in the other way because the car there. And, you gonna uh, swing around? Yeah. And, you can't uh, put in that driveway and back up. I'll be right back. What do you guys think? 2.7? Uh, you know, it did okay. I think being such a lightweight truck, it just took a little momentum to get over, you know, the curbs and all that and low speed, reverse. But uh, it got the job done. So, hey, the F-150 can, uh, can handle itself. You would have been done with the 2.50. I think the I think the surge brakes were locking up. In reverse. Uh, Uncle Shanti, how did I be backing up? You did better before. You think so? Yeah. On the again, we never backed it up with the F one fifty. Well, on the on the second try, I did better. The two fifty would have went over the curve, no problem. Yeah. I heard that. Engine straining a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I actually got lost. I said, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? I went to so you go. You probably hear me say that <laughs> on the previous, when you was lost in the neighborhood. Yeah, I was, uh, so I had to go around twice. So. But yeah, you, want you, you can kick it over like you did the last time. Yeah. You know? All right, guys. So the 2.7 did well. It struggled with torque uh, back in that trailer and bolt into the driveway there. But it still got the job done. Uh, Uncle Shanti said that I should have used the F-250 and uh, probably right. But it got the job done. Anyway, I'm home now. The sunset is on me. So uh, just time to go in and have dinner with the wife. Who likes uh, veggies? We got Brussels sprouts and cauliflower roasting in an oven. And what else do we have? Grilled salmon patties. So dinner is basically done. We got two more minutes left. That's going to be it for the vlog. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.